Your turn, Marcus. What are you going to get them to make? It looks very much like a cheesecake. It is a cheesecake. It's a banoffee cheesecake with some caramelised bananas and some biscuit toppings. How long have they got for this? I'm going to give them 15 minutes. I would love to see a posh cheesecake in 15 minutes. Are you just about to? <laughs> I'm going to be making two different caramels. They've both got the sugar, the butter, one's got cream and rum, and the other's got a banana liqueur. One caramel is for the bananas. And the other caramel is going to go into the cheesecake to give it that banoffee flavour. So we've got them going at this pretty much the same time. There's no water in there, it's just dry pan. Marcus is making a dry caramel. For me, it's one of the safest ones you can use because you can stir it if need be. Why can't you stir a wet caramel? Uh, you stir a wet caramel, you can actually cause it to crystallise. They need to be very close eye on this because at this stage, if it goes too far, it's just going to be black caramel. It'll be too bitter. A splash of the banana liqueur. Just drop our bananas into there. As soon as the bananas have gone in, you just shake them around, you make sure the bananas are all loose, and then you just tip them out onto a tray. So the bananas are not overcooked, they've still got a little bit of texture to them, but while they're sitting there in the caramel, they're just gently just cooking away. OK, our second caramel is coming up. Just let the pan do the work for you. I can start to see the colour now coming through. Cream. Finish with some rum. So you should take it out of the pan into your bowl of ice. I don't need to rush this because it just needs to cool. The minute it's cooled, we can get the process underway and start making the dessert. Now we're going to make our cream cheese. OK, so I've just very, very, very lightly just whipped the cream. Here I've got the cream cheese. I'm just breaking it down, just softening it so that it's at the right consistency so you can incorporate the cream. Just gently fold that in. Now I'm just going to just swap these over and transfer this onto the ice. Can I feel this? Just want to... Oh, right, that's cold. Mm. Right, fine. So the, the most important thing now is making sure that you keep everything nice and cold. If it starts to come to room temperature, I don't want it to run through my piping bag. I want to create layers. That's not a million miles away in consistency compared to what it's about to go into. So this is where it turns into the banoffee cheesecake. If they don't cool that caramel down, that's just going to cook the cream, isn't it? Absolutely. It's just going to become a sauce. We put that into our piping bag now. And then we are ready to assemble our dessert. Yeah. So there we have our two biscuits. So that's our sort of base and our topping. A few little digestive biscuits. You just want it to work its way around just by tapping the bottom of the glass. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm bringing it all down, but I'm also creating a layer now for the banana. And now for the ginger biscuit. Finish with a little bit of chopped rosemary. Nutmeg on the top. So there we have it. Banoffee cheesecake with caramelised bananas. Not off. That is great, really wonderful. I mean, this is an amazing dessert. I'd be super impressed if our chefs are going to come in here. We're near this. Let's get the chefs in and see what they create. This, this could be fun. I hope so. <laughs> First up is 25-year-old senior sous chef, Joe, from Winchester. If you want to be the best and you want to be considered one of the best, you've got to put yourself against the best and come out on top. Being in a high-pressure environment is in my history and my past has definitely squeezed the best out of me. That's where you really separate the men from the boys. Who handles it, who doesn't, how do they handle it and to what level. I definitely have a competitive streak and I try and not let that step over the line into arrogance, but as a chef that's pretty hard. <laughs> yes, I'm competitive, but that's only because I want to push myself. 15 minutes, off you go, Joe. Done pastry before, Joe? A little bit. It's not my most frequent section, but I've uh, been lucky enough to have a spattering of it everywhere I've been. You've had five minutes, Joe. You've got ten minutes left. Thank you.
You're halfway, Joe. So seven and a half minutes left. I think you've got plenty of time. Thank you. How did that go? I think it's going to taste good. I'm not entirely happy with the presentation. I could have done a bit more of that, I think. The reason why it looks that way is because you're building it while it's still warm. Everything's sort of turning to a big mush. But at the end, it's going to be always about the eating. Joe, it's a very sickly, buttery glass of mush, and it's warm you needed to cool things down a little bit more before you started to build this together. And I think the bananas have started to break down the cream cheese. It's not great on the eating. All I can say is you need to really think through what you're doing and don't run at it, you know, so step back and then pace yourself. Looking forward to cooking your own food? Certainly looking forward to it more than ever now after hearing that, so I've got a lot to prove. Very nice to meet you. See you Thank in the you. next round. Thank you. Off you go. Love his energy. Just needs to be more, a little bit more controlled, doesn't it? Yeah. I rushed it, made a few rookie mistakes that if I could go and do it again now, wouldn't have happened. I don't disagree with their critique. I'm only annoyed with myself. I'll pick myself up.